in this video i will show you a circuit in which we have to find the equivalent inductance of that circuit this is the example number one out of two examples find the equivalent inductance of the following circuit across a and b terminals see this is our a and b terminals and we have to find the equivalent inductance of the circuit with respect to these two terminals calculation of equivalent inductance of a circuit is more or less similar to the calculation of equivalent resistance of a a resistive network therefore i will use the point method to calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit see this is our point a so this will be point a this will be point a this is our point b so this will be point b this will be point b let's say this is our point c this is our point c this is point d this is point d our point will continue as long as we get a short circuit or short path see we cannot go in this direction this direction because we will encounter an inductor in this direction or in this direction okay now look at the terminal a and terminal c there you will see we have two inductors connected in parallel 10 henry and this 10 henry now look at the point c and d there you will see we have two inductors connected in parallel 15 henry and this 5 henry so i can reduce these two inductors to a single inductor and these two and these two inductors to a single inductor let's say the equivalent inductance of these two is l equivalent one and the equivalent inductance of these two is l equivalent two so here as we have two inductors connected in parallel we will simply take 10 into 10 l1 into l2 divided by l1 plus l2 formula which will be equal to 5 henry and look here our l equivalent 2 will be equal to 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5 which will be 75 divided by 20 that means it will be equal to 3.75 henry so i can replace these two inductors with an inductor of 5 henry and these two inductors with an inductor of 3.75 henry see within a and c terminal we will replace the two inductors with an inductor of 5 henry and within c and d terminals we will replace the inductors with an inductor of 3.75 henry now look between the terminal c and b there you will see this 30 henry and this 3.75 henry are connected in series so i can replace them with l equivalent 3 which will be equal to the sum of these two inductors 30 plus 3.75 30 plus 3.75 which will be equal to 33.75 henry and that 33.75 henry will be in parallel with this 20 henry therefore i will get l equivalent 4 which will be equal to 20 into 33.75 divided by 20 plus 33.75 so i can reduce these three inductors with a single inductor of l equivalent 4 and here it will be equal to 12.56 henry so in the last circuit you will see between c and b terminals our equivalent inductance will be 12.5 6 henry now what will be the l equivalent l equivalent will be the sum of 5 henry and 12.56 henry because this 5 henry and this 12.56 henry are connected in series therefore our total inductance of the circuit will be 17.56 henry and this is the answer